You the barrack officer? Absolutely. Wing Commander Temple Smithson. And there's no need to introduce yourself, Captain Stone. We've heard all about the show you put on at the holding camp. Gather you lost a chap. Rotten luck. Luck? I had the chance to stop him and I didn't. Best not to blame yourself, old fellow. Jerry's the one to point the finger at, and you're bound to get a chance to hit back at him. You can count on it. I don't plan on making this a long stay. Ah, indeed. Good show. Now, you're quartered in barrack two. The chaps there should make you welcome. That'll be all. Actually, Stone, why don't you come and see me once you're settled in? We might be able to help each other out. Flight Lieutenant Jonathan Fielding reporting for duty, sir. I'm just itching to paint a few more 109s on the side of my crate, so the sooner we all go under the wire, the better, wouldn't you say? You mind lending me a hand? Now, I'm keen to help you out, old man, but I'm a bit embarrassed on the old cash round, if you know what I mean. So why don't we say 25 currency and the other two chaps and I'll lend a hand? I'll speak to you later. Captain Stone, is it not? The wing commander pointed you out to me. He asks that you join us in the barracks. Perhaps now? Sure. Good a time as any. Ah, good of you to drop in, Captain. Perhaps you've met Major Nikolai Radko of the Polish Army. The Major heads up our escape committee. Captain Stone might make a valuable addition to the team, wouldn't you say, Major? I wish I could share your faith in human nature, sir. But experience has taught me to make new friends with caution. Welcoming as ever, eh, Radka? Then how about setting stone a little test? Just like being back in high school. Very well. Captain, we will have a tape placed in your hiding place in Barrack 2. You are tasked with taking it to the administration building and playing it over the camp's address system. Just a little wheeze to lift the chap's spirits and get one over on Jerry to boot. That's all? Then I'm in. Should you experience difficulties, you are free to consult us at any time. If the wing commander has judged you correctly, that should not be necessary. Dismissed.
through that! Good morning. Apologies, Herr Commandant. It must have been one of the prisoners. I don't want your excuses, Oberjäger. I want that noise stopped now. And if a prisoner was responsible, I want that prisoner found. And halt! Going somewhere, Colonel? I thought you looked like trouble. Oberjäger, lock this man up. To get back to the escape committee for a pat on the back.
Harry Fox is the name, sir. Get my hands on pretty much it. No thanks. Well, you just... Captain? I played your tape, Major. Meet us later, Captain. There is something further we need to discuss. Jolly good work with the tape, old boy. I haven't seen the chap so happy in months. But there's been a hitch. You see, your prank was actually a ruse to distract Jerry while one of our boys swiped some documents from the Commandant's office. But he wasn't quite careful enough. Or somebody tipped off the guards. Not the trusting type, are you, Major? But I'm feeling generous, so I'll tell you what. Leave it to me. I'll have those papers on your desk in no time. Good show, Stone. That's the spirit. But you might find it easier if you go in undercover. See if you can get your hands on a German uniform. Sniffing around Jerry's huts would be your best bet. Although, some of them may well be locked. Major, any chance of rustling up a key? I will have one placed in the captain's hiding place in Beric 2. I'm touched, Major. I didn't know you cared. Good evening.
Tag.
Tag am Rad. Told you I could do it, Major. The plans are ours. Quiet, Captain. If we are overheard, we are finished. We will discuss this later in the barracks. It's as we suspected, Wing Commander. Jerry's using this camp as a cover for a weapons research facility. Looks like they're assembling a long-range rocket. A rocket that could strike at virtually any city in the world. Good God! Right under our noses. No wonder they bunged you in the cooler for snooping around. Any idea how far they've got? This schedule suggests they could begin testing as early as this winter. What's this man doing here? This is a British operation. Well, not any longer, Colonel. I beg your pardon? What's your name, Airman? Most remiss of me, Colonel. This is Captain Stone of the United States Air Force. He retrieved the plans after your, uh, unfortunate encounter. Colonel Harding here reports to the Special Operations Executive in London. Lucky them. Captain, I suggest you watch your... Hello? It's General Stahl. Star, he's bad news. We'll have to move fast. Major, did your radio boys get that transmitter up and running? Just about, sir. Good. We simply must fill in Whitehall. And while you're at it, have one of the chaps make a copy of these plans. Better safe than sorry. Good morning, gentlemen. I am pleased to see that, as usual, you are all... Thank you, Herr Commandant. I will take over from here. But, General... Dismissed, Commandant! It appears that a few of you have seen fit to abuse the Reich's more than generous hospitality. Some of my personal documents have been stolen, an act which will not go unpunished. Guards, search the compound. Sir, we have them! Commandant, this time you have been fortunate. The prisoner responsible will be transferred immediately to Kolditz. Let us see if he finds the cold confines of the castle a more fitting place to see out the war.
Let this be a lesson to you all, gentlemen. Double camp security and half the prisoners' food rations. There will be no further transgressions. Can the transmitter be patched up, Major? I am afraid not, sir. We are off the air permanently, but at least the guards failed to find a copy of the plans we made. Perhaps we could smuggle him back to London through the, uh, uh, you know what. The tunnel! Sir, we cannot afford another betrayal. Oh, calm down, Major. I think we can trust our American friend by now. In fact, look, Stone, it's like this. Some of the men have been working on a tunnel in preparation for a mass escape. What say you tag along and take the plans with you? You bet. I got a score to settle with this General Stahl. And I'll bet he'll have a real bad day once the bigwigs back in London find out what he's up to. Very well. But ventilation in the tunnel is still insufficient. We require something to drive the air pump. A set of bellows would be ideal. Perhaps you would be so kind as to fetch some for us, Captain. 